All right, since my last video, I got my bracket straight by elongating the hole and just kind of twisting it. It's straight enough. So the first mission of the day is to connect this to this. This turbo is already in place. I'm going to be using a V-band, obviously. Okay, so it's, it's, it's pretty round though, so check this out. Here goes another thing I noticed. If you're trying to do a 90 and you're and you want to be lazy and, and, and do it like only in three pieces, which if you, if you cut 15 degrees, it'd be three pieces. If you cut 15 degree angles, I don't recommend doing that. That's lazy. It kind of looks too squared off. And the biggest reason why it's a bad idea is because whenever you cut it like that, um, the angles. De, uh, too big or whatever and it, it won't it doesn't really fit good so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna just take it up one notch and I'm gonna do it in four pieces and cut 11 you would need to cut 11.25 degree angles but the, my saw doesn't have that accurate of increment so what I'm gonna do is just put it on 10 and then just add a little bit and It'll be fine. You could you could buff stuff out in the in the end, but I'm gonna start out by making a line, a reference line, put it on 10 degrees, and then just add a little bit. Okay, that should be 11.25. Gloves, face shield, and hearing protection. Alright, so this is how it came out. Uh, seams aren't too bad. I have it taped together because you'll see in a minute what I'm going to do. It's actually more than a 90, but that'll be alright. Yeah, I needed this together so I could try to figure out how long this pipe needs to be. I think this is where some of the real fabricator guys are going to realize that I don't know what I'm doing. But okay so the pipe needs to go like this like three and a quarter three and a quarter see this isn't that important because I because whenever it's gonna have more pie cuts I can manipulate it by twisting the other one so as long as I get this kind of close it'll be good well this is where I ended up not too bad Alright, I forgot where I left off yesterday, but right now I'm about to go ahead and uh, weld together my little extension little piece and then do my first 90 degree bend. That's what I'm going to weld together right now. I cleaned the inside of the tube with one of these. It's just like a sanding disc that goes on the drill, just kind of go around it. And... I'm going to back purge this. Whenever I back purge something, it usually makes the inside bead look better than the outside, but. See, I strategically done this because I'm gonna back purge it even whenever, I'm ta whenever I tack it. And if you're trying to do something this small, you might have a problem. Well, since this side's gonna be super hot, tape doesn't really work very good it gets too hot and it'll burn off but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, if it I'm gonna go ahead and use tape but if it starts getting too hot and causing problems I don't even want my hose to get hot if it starts getting hot and stuff then I'll just I'll, I'll remove it and use aluminum foil I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my time on it so I don't get the whole part hot. Yeah, that's not gonna work very good. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> well, hey, watch, it won't even leave any arc sparks or anything, or whatever you call it. I got the argon already turned on to to, <laughs> to about 5 CFH, but that's not the way to do it, I mean, because it's not even closed. But, but watch, it's going to be better than nothing, I already know that for a fact. Even if it's only on there for a few seconds. There goes the first tack. Oh, I forgot to hold it on there. Twist it about a quarter of the way. I got some 45,000 uh, 308 filler, and this is going to ensure that I don't just burn back the material since the fit is not really that good so so that's the procedure notice no sugaring a little bit on the first one and the reason why is because you see the little bit of oxidation and stuff because it wasn't, um, you notice how I barely turned on the argon and then I just went ahead and welded it before it probably really purged good, but whatever. That's pretty much how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna keep stacking the pieces on there and welding quadrants, like four tacks, until I have it all tacked together and then just try to weld it out. All right, I got, I got uh, the rest of my pieces cut out and taped together. And these pieces can be, you know, it fits. You know, if you move it a little bit. The only problem is that none of this is clean. I still have to deburse some of this a little bit and clean it with acetone. So I kind of got ahead of myself. So what I'm going to do is make a line like this. And even though I'm going to clean the edge, I can still put something up there and align it pretty good. Even though whenever I clean it with acetone, I'll just take off a little bit. I've done this before. And then I need to make sure that make sure it's directional and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this one put two on there to make sure I don't tell them apart good I'll just tack these two these two more pieces on and then put it up there and then tack these with it in place I, I usually what I'm doing is really using a file to deburr it. Get all those little shavings that are sticking out. I'm using a Steel Demon 14 inch blade and a, and a chop saw. And to be honest, like maybe for the first 50 cuts, it'll cut real clean, but it's, it's already starting to, um, it's not cutting as clean anymore. Gonna line it up like that and weld it. All right, so I'm almost done, but the pipes kind of moved a little bit, and they're gonna be kind of difficult.
see what happened. I actually started burning back. I kind of have a maybe almost a 30 second gap right here. Burnt me another nice hole in there. I'm seriously sitting on a battery charger because it's more comfortable than the stool that I'm in. So this is how I'm doing my V-bands. I have it on this piece of aluminum clamped down with the, with the purge going into it. I'm not going to lie, I took a break and I turned the purge off and I came back and I welded like maybe almost half of these two, maybe this one too, with the purge off and I got some sugaring inside here. That's a shame because I was being real careful not to do that, but oh well. I mean, I had pretty good success not warping. I already did one V-band, and as long as I wait, weld about an inch or two, and then wait until it's almost cool to the touch and then do it again. Well, here's the finished product. The welds look kind of crappy, mostly cooked. Kind of. They're not like dull, dull gray. They're just... I don't know. Looks like crap. And then check this out. Somehow my pipe protrudes outside the V-Man. I think it moved. That's not cool. I mean, I'm going to put it on like that. If there's a problem, I guess it could be milled off or like, you know, like with a belt sand or something. I don't even know. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Well, there it is. Everything definitely did not go as planned. It kind of moved a little bit. What I'll end up doing is just elongating the holes in the bracket. That way it can swing a little bit uh, in and over this way. You could probably force it on, but I don't really feel like doing that. And then I have this issue with the pipe kind of sticking, protruding out past the V-band. I don't even know how that could even be possible because I had the V-band clamped whenever I had the pipe stuck in there and I tacked it. But I guess maybe burning it up like that probably just pulled it too much. So yeah, when you tighten it up, you can kind of see a gap. Maybe I'll get lucky and the pipes are just pushed together and it seals. I don't know. I kind of think that's going to leak, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and run with it and deal with it whenever it actually leaks. So that was a lot of work right there. My wastegate, I'm going to do use a, a hole saw and put the wastegate right here pointing this way on both sides. This side is going to get a bellow, so that way it'll be a lot easier. I mean, I am going to have to move my bracket a little bit because my pipe's moved, but I don't know. I, I have an, a good idea why it moved. Whenever you have gaps and the fit is not good, Obviously that makes your pipes move more whenever you weld them out. Well, I had enough for today. It's as far as I'm going to get. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, or inspiring, <laughs> please like and subscribe to the end.